Most people see two or three traumatic events during their lifetime, maybe seeing a fatal car crash, maybe a house fire. Now imagine seeing that all the time. A first responder mental health organization found first responders see 180 traumatic incidents just in their careers. Tonight and tomorrow, Kaylee Mayer and Ted will be sharing the stories of firefighters, dispatchers, officers, and their families. They'll tell their battles with post-traumatic stress disorder. And we want to warn you, they'll also tell of battles lost to suicide. Kaylee? You're about to hear from Oregon police officer Sarah Shaw. Her husband, Mike Shaw, was also an officer for 22 years. She knows firsthand the hard calls and scenes first responders have to deal with. But it's nothing compared to what she lived through in October of 2020. People expect us to be superheroes. And we don't have capes on these uniforms. Happy birthday, Lauren. Um, I wanted to do a video for you. I'm settled in here at work. I had to go in at 3 in the morning, and I'm just sitting in here in my car just thinking about you and hoping that you have a, a fun day. I didn't know that Mike was struggling to the extent that he was until about a year before he took his life. My name is Sarah Shaw and I am a patrolman with the City of Oregon Police Division. Copy that, I'll be in route. It's been 22 years. This has kind of been something that I've wanted to do since high school and I'm just glad that it worked out. Her love for the job not only leading her here, but also here. We met each other at a training at his police department. Mike was kind of a part of everything. He was a crash investigator, crash reconstructionist. As you can imagine, some of the crashes that they've had uh, on the highway there outside of Sylvania. Except helping others at their worst can sometimes leave you at yours. Then the day that he walks out and he doesn't come back. So I didn't know that's where he was in his mind. But as soon as I saw the captain and somebody I didn't know, I immediately knew. I immediately knew. That someone was a chaplain. Someone like Chaplain Dan Vicky. This job, this, this calling, if you will, involves the whole family. Officer Shaw says Mike was in therapy. They had the tough conversations. When I asked, you know, are you going to hurt yourself? Do you feel like you want to do that? And he reassured me, no, 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 that's, I would never do that. We use the phrase a backpack in our backpack. We put stuff in our backpack and it eventually gets full, too heavy to carry. So we have to empty some of the things out of that backpack. And then all of a sudden, it truly is the straw that breaks the camel's back for you. Some small call, a smell, a sound, and all of a sudden everything is triggered. That one of our daughter's toys was a toy that was set off during a raid that they were on one time, and that was a trigger for him. It's been two and a half years of questions with no answers. Mike was never diagnosed with PTSD, but I have no doubt that that's a huge contributor to why we're living what we're living now. In the old uh, adage, you know, suck it up buttercup and move on. You've probably heard that if you've been around. Uh, we, knew, we need to move beyond that. Officer wellness and mental health and all of the things that make an officer whole, that we're, we're doing better, we're getting better and that's all we can hope for, because I don't think anyone has the exact answer. I love you. Bye. I'm lucky that he was my husband, because I have two amazing kids, and we were able to share our career together, so yeah, it was almost 20 years together, so it was a big deal. Officer Shaw says you never know what a first responder is coming from when they come to your emergency, so offer grace. Many agencies have coordinators or resources for those who might be struggling with their mental health or think they could have PTSD. We have a list of resources for first responders on our website. Part two of our series looking into PTSD and first responders will be airing tomorrow night at 11.
In studio, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11.